This is Taylor with Geeked Out Reviews. I am doing a comparison review on the uh, Wow Oto 1500 lumen uh, Android 3D LED um, LED projector. Um, I have it displaying the Thor trailer here. Um, I also have my Casio Green Slim uh, this is a 3000 lumen projector uh, playing the same trailer. Now, it, this comparison is somewhat unfair just because they're using two separate apps. This one's using Android, this one's using uh, Fire TV, and for some reason, Fire TV doesn't actually have a proper YouTube, uh, which really kind of surprises me. Um, but as you can see, I am using a USB. Um, thing to power the uh, Fire TV because it doesn't actually have a uh, USB on it. Uh, this is a laser uh, LED like hybrid thing, uh, which isn't terrible. Um, then, but as you can hear, it's the loudest thing in the room right now, other than me talking. Um, it it's more than likely going to be replaced uh, by this thing right here uh, which also by the way one nice feature about it, it has a touch screen that I didn't notice uh, until earlier um, anyways some of the features on it is there's USB 2.0 uh, HDMI USB 3.0 you can actually direct access in here um, for your Ethernet uh, there is audio visual stuff and of course headphone jack um, also has Wi-Fi and um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth this has none of that it's just a dumb projector um, has a serial uh, port here which I'm honestly never used and don't know what it is uh, and then there's a computer you know really old VGA port. I also have a Asus, this is the S1. Uh, this is a 200, I believe, uh, lumen projector. Um, this had, uh, the, this is not HD in, in any way, it's 480p. Uh, this is 7, uh, over 720p it's like 1280 by uh, 800 and so is this one uh, mostly wanted to show you guys the difference uh, and why I'm actually replacing uh, the green slim with uh, this one as you can see this one is much smaller uh, in comparison to it uh, let's try much smaller uh, doesn't doesn't sound as loud near as loud um, Looking at how far away this is from it. Uh, it has a, a better range of How it's going to project itself uh, this is Fairly far back and still only has such a small um, uh, Viewing area I'm going to turn off the light uh, just so we can kind of get a better close up here of how good this looks. Um, I mean, this this is the quality of the Wow Oto. Uh, it actually seems to be fairly, fairly uh, nice. Definitely. Uh, good quality HD uh, just to show you another thing that impressed me um, I'm going to show you the sound from this as well so let me play that let me turn it up too Uh, that is is quite impressive uh, for 
such a tiny projector. I'm not even going to show you this one because I haven't even used the sound on it uh, in a long time because it was that bad. Ah, actually, um, let me show you. This is this is actually what the HD quality is of this projector, um, and it's it's pretty decent. Um, but if you, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Now my finger's not in the way. Uh, it gets it gets quite pixelated um, up close. Whereas uh, this one doesn't feel as pixelated, like you, it's not as noticeable. It's there, but it's it's a much smoother transition um, with it. Um, this, of course, also is Android. So one of so the nice things about it is um, I can use Android apps on it. Oh, come on! Weird that it tells me I'm offline. Uh, it comes with YouTube, Netflix, I don't know why BBC is on here, I can't remove it for some reason, but um, if you purchase this, you, I guess, have to have BBC on it. There there may be a way to remove it, I'm not sure. Um, there's the Play Store, so you can get anything in the Play Store. Uh, there's apps on here, so got a couple emulators that I've played on here, it worked, worked pretty well. Um, some streaming things from... Uh, YouTube, Netflix, and Kodi, uh, they seem to work fairly well. Didn't have any, any problems with that. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, that's always good. Uh, settings, there's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, there's system settings. Um, this you can manage all the applications. There's Miracast, I believe it also does AirPlay, or whatever the Apple version thing is. Uh, you can set it to auto keystone, which which is kind of nice. Uh, let's see if I can get it to auto for you. Eh, no. Well, anyway, it, it's, it does fairly well with the auto keystone. I keep it on. Uh, the uh, projection mode, you can change it front, back, uh, rear, like if it's on a ceiling, upside down, in front or back, either one, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I use that for my rear projection screen outside. Uh, there's different power modes, just to show you what they look like. And that one's actually kind of nice. I might keep that. Um, software updates, I haven't gotten one yet, but, uh, I've only had it for a week. Um, but hopefully they continue to update the software, it's always good. Uh, you can change the wallpaper, the boot, uh, animation. You can have live wallpaper on this, uh, which is, is pretty cool. I, I've yet to put any live wallpapers on it, actually. Let's just do that real quick, just for fun. All right, so now I've got a live wallpaper on here. Um, looks like I need to just adjust the... Okay, there, sharpness is uh, improved. Uh, didn't realize I, I was, when I moved it, I probably got a little off focus, but um, it seems to work fairly well. Um, I've honestly loved using it. Uh, this thing destroys me me really wanting like the Asus or, or wanting to keep my Asus or anything else. Um, I will more than likely get rid of it. Uh, let me show you just just for comparison's sake uh, the Asus and excuse the bad camera work here. Oh, this one uh, does pretty well, at, at least as far as like how far away it has to be um, in order to to get a a nice big picture. Uh, 
And I do like this uh, because one one nice thing about this one is you don't have have to have a battery. Uh, this one, or I'm, I'm sorry, that is a battery that has a battery in it. Uh, this does not have a battery in it, but your charging cable is very very small. I actually have a um, a forty thousand milliamp uh, hour battery that will use. Uh, those type of plugs on uh, whenever you plug this this thing in it takes up so little power that you could power this thing for probably a full day uh, of it of it being on if not longer um, I'm going to ignore the software update I mean it, it as you can see it, it's it's fairly clear that that doesn't look near as good as this like all, all the colors here are bright and vivid and those of you that actually have a fire TV you can you can actually tell how different this really looks like as far as um, the colors the colors are they they feel a little dull a little dim I mean it works it works well if you have nothing else um, but as you can see like it's quite pixelated you will definitely see this here um, because this this is not an HD projector it is close to HD it's 480p but it's not it's not going to give you anything of what a 720p or uh, whatever these things are called um, considering this is 1280 by uh, 720 or 1280 by 800 uh, but just to show you again, like, you really don't see the pixelation in this. Oh, now that I think about it, I'm in the shadowing. But yeah, um, wanted to, wanted to show you that comparison. It is, it is a huge difference. Um, I would honestly choose this over any other projector that it has that I have tested currently uh, I've tested a good bit uh, so far um, previously my, my my pick was this one the Asus however um, I'm a software developer and lately I've been finding I need something that'll be able to show um, text pretty clearly uh, where you see Amazon original right there it doesn't really come out very well especially here uh, where it's Patriot um, it, it doesn't show tiny text all that well this one shows tiny text like really clear and it is only about one and a half times the size of the Asus here let me Just to just to show you the comparison here, um, this this, this honestly, I, I've been so impressed by this. Uh, haven't tested the 3D out. I've got some 3D glasses coming in on Tuesday, um, and as soon as I get those, I will report back and let you know how good it is. Um, I think that's going to be the end of my review. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Uh, please let me know. Uh, also, just so you know, for this one, uh, this specific projector, you can't use these. Uh, you can't use a a standard um, a standard uh, tripod. Uh, you have to use something like this. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt. It's it's I like it for what it is, but I prefer to use something like this. Uh, this is much easier to use. Alright, uh, any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you want to ask, uh, please leave those in the comments below. Uh, this is Taylor with Geeked Out Reviews. Thanks for watching.